Hello, this is Auditra from Mundana for Best Web Web and this is another episode of Learning HTML from Beginning or from Scratch. So let's now learn Listing Properties of HTML. In our previous episode, we have seen that how to draw, how to make a table in HTML and we have learned about setting and calculating the width and uh, the height and the other dimensions of creating a table and we know how to distribute the columns and uh, set dimensions for each individual columns. We now know how to insert an image into any column and how to hyperlink that image. That should be opening into another big images into another document. So today in this part, in this episode of tutorial, we are about to learn how to create a listing in HTML document. If we open the Microsoft Word and if we look into these things, these things are called actually the lists. That means there will be some listed elements which will be oriented vertically down with some bulleted text. So today we are about to create a listing in HTML. We will be now able to create our own list and in our future tutorials we will be discussing on how to nest those listings. So let's get back to our project. Here, first of all, let's uh, suppose that we are creating a one is to one table. Actually, this is not necessary thing to create a one is to one table. That means there will be a single row and column. But still, I would like to keep our listing in the in the middle position of this page of your web page display. So that's why we will be creating a table first which is one is to one row and then we will be producing our list elements so here comes the table as usual introduce the table tag and provide here an attribute actually there should be some more attributes like background colors and, and a border which is necessary and of course a width so here it is suppose we are giving the bg color as red so here's the color code of red first close the table actually this is a basic approach anytime whenever you are creating a tag you must first end that tag this could lead a mishap or any kind of mistake you make in future while you are trying to make a better project a bigger project then it will be a quite a bit chaotic and a very hectic thing that you are monitoring whether your brackets are closed or not or the tags you have created those are closed or not and that is why this is a common approach of this uh, designing segment that whenever you are creating a bracket and a table uh, I mean sorry whether you are creating a table a tag actually then first of all you must close that tag and then you proceed whatever you want to do there now you create a row and then you create the column inside which the list element should appear of course here provide the width and a border and another thing what you may have done here provide here a font color font color Now as usual go to Photoshop, choose the color you want to choose. It should be a lighter color of course as you have chosen the original red color that should be a lighter color whatever you are choosing here. So I am choosing this one.
so as usual provide the hashtag provide here the hashtag first and uh, paste the color code you have copied from the photoshop document now here comes the basic part of this list lists are actually there are two kinds of lists are out there such as the ordered list and the unordered list so uh, if you choose ordered list the listed elements bulleted text or whatever it is those listed elements they will be appearing as one apple two orange and if you choose unordered list then this text they should be appearing as a bulleted text so all you have to do first of all we are creating an unordered list here so we just introduced a new so we just introduce a new tag here which is ul whenever you are creating an unordered list first of all you have to open a opening tag which is known as ul now each of these list elements that means this text cities this is a list element countries this is another list element continents this is another list element capitals this is another list element cities okay all of these things these things are list elements so each of them each of them should be placed inside a list tag so all you have to do after you open the ul tag then you have to open the list element tag which is this one so this is a list element so the first element inside it is cities so you are writing here cities the second one is countries so the second list element what you are actually creating here is countries sorry likewise all these things these things should be coming under a list element such as this continent part this capitals part so we are writing here continents and then comes the capitals now just save this page so you have constructed this list items and for that you have opened an ul tag you have provided each list items and now you have closed the ul tag and you put all of them inside this font so the font color should be holding this one so now i just press control s and i go to the root folder here open it into a browser and view the page and there it is so we see that now these list elements they are inside a table which is a one is to one table and uh, all these list elements they are in different format different fonts here different font color this is not actually the default default font color the default font color of an h uh, of a web web page is actually black so it is not black so we see that the font colors are now been changed here now let's put it into another way that we want to change this bulleted list things so in that case if you want this then the command should flow as ul type circle and we see that this thing now being changed into circles which was actually a solid full uh, circles which were actually disks here it now changed itself into a circle 
Likewise, if you want some square bulleted format, then all you have to write it down here as uh, put it put it as if square. Now just reload the page, and you see that that the squares have been generated here as the list items. The remaining the remaining thing here, what you have to do actually. Make the alignment properly. Align center. Now we see that the table is now aligning into the, into the central position, and the bulleted formats the, the those are changed from a circle or from a disk to a square element. So uh, there are three type of attributes which is used along with the the unordered list elements and those are uh, circle, disk and square. Now let's concentrate into our ordered list. So what is an ordered list? If you just change this tag element into OL and for the time being I am not providing any type here and you rectify this OL over here, the remaining thing remains the same. All you have to do, you have to replace the UL tag with the OL tag. There is nothing anymore to do here. The rest of the things will remain same. So we press Ctrl S and go to our internet browser and we reload the page and we see that now th uh, those bulleted list formats, those are replaced with these 1, 2, 3, 4 formats. Now if you want to change these things, in the same manner you have to specify the type over here well type well type um, let's put it this way A so we see here that the 1, 2, 3, 4 those are now changed into alphabetical order those are A, B, C, D now just replace this type A from type A to small a. So from the caps lock option you are now turning it into the lowercase option. So I am providing here type small a and we reload the page. We see that A, B, C, D those uppercase bulleted formats those are now turned into a lowercase bulleted formats and those are A, B, C, D. Now if you put here instead of A if you put here Roman 1 and just reload the page you see that the Roman number formatting is now being changed here being shown here so this is 1 2 3 4 all this bullet all this listing format source all these bulleted formats those are now changing into this Roman Roman form or Roman formats so this is the list element in HTML in the next episode we are going to learn about the nested list elements that means now you are concerning about something like this like this one cities uh, for say Kolkata Karachi Jakarta, Bangkok, etc. So this is known as the nesting of list elements. That means city as a list element that is now dropping down into some sub listing elements like Kolkata and this in turn can be dropped drop down. This in turn can produce another list inside this Kolkata option such as the, uh, the name of the places or the uh, visiting places. So this is known as nesting of the list elements. That means you are generating some more list elements inside a list. So that's it for today's tutorial. In this next tutorial we will be uh, discussing on nesting of list elements and of course in the end we are going to do some project work based on this HTML thing such as uh, creating our own template 
and uh, try to build it up into HTML using just HTML only. So that's it for today's lesson. Hoping for to see you in the next class. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.